Hi, Dr. Wright here, and I want to talk about infrapatellar calf lobules. And so these uh, are, are seen in lipedema, and they're really not seen in other diseases. So they're kind of pathognomonic or classic for lipedema. Um, and so um, this, these lobules um, uh, occur just below the knee and in the front of the calf. And what um, in this patient um, has, they're a little bit asymmetric. So it's bigger on, uh, on, on this right calf. And that's because there was extra swelling. So she had some trauma um, and, and swelling and this is this helps us understand how these occur so it's where the swelling come goes is where the lipedema fat um, multiplies and so that's why compression helps control lipedema all these all these treatments to improve lymphatic flow actually are treating lipedema and helping it from getting worse and so uh, I want to explain this, and this is a classic sign uh, uh, for lipedema. And then you can see the difference in the two legs. While they're, they're similar, they're not twins because one had more swelling. And they have, by the way, gotten better um, when with compression. So that all, those are all the, the principles to prove that, that the pathogenesis for these lobules is the swelling. Thank you.